Hey, what is going on everyone? Uh, my name is Dean and welcome back to Ashes Cricket Career Mode. It has been a very long time since I have jumped into this game, but as we are easing our way back into the summer and the cricket season, I figured why not jump back in with our career mode because it's been so long so for those who haven't seen any of my videos for a while and this is the first one make sure you hit that bell button because for whatever reason when you're inactive on YouTube it sort of doesn't push the videos as good as it should so make sure you do hit notifications so you don't miss any more of this career mode episodes now they're probably gonna be coming out on a Saturday from now on and then hopefully I can do more than more than that uh, as we move further and further into the season. But let's get into today's video and leave a thumbs up if you're excited to return to all of this. Now I haven't played this in a very long time as I've said, so this could go very, very poorly. I can't even remember which team I am. I think I am the Amazon Warriors? But I can't be sure. Yes I am, and I'm opening with Chris Lynn and I'm the captain, I just forgot. How good I really am! Now you watch me get out first ball, but tails never fails. Let's see if we're going to be batting or bowling first. We've won the toss. Let's have a bowl. I, what's my bowler? My guy bowls off spin, right? Right arm off spin, right. Let's give us a bit of a spin a Rooney here. Look at this nice, tight field. Nice, tight field. Just try and limit it. They, they've put me in in the power play, which means clearly I've thought. I'm that bloody good that I'm gonna just see how much I can do. I'm gonna toss this up here, which is a really ballsy decision. And it has gone over my head. But, nevertheless, we press on. It's just a two, I think. The problem is I haven't played this in so long, I kind of forgot where to bowl. In terms of like, what was the AI good at? What were the AI bad at? And how do I limit their scoring capabilities because if I toss this one up there that's in like a really bad spot and it's a boundary never you mind there Sunny Jim oh that's a better one how is it no he did hit it but you know you can always bluff the umpire on occasion right now since playing this game last I have ventured into a couple of cricket uh, games like as in in real life I have played maybe two or three times as a fill-in for indoor cricket and uh, I think only in one of those games have I actually done slightly anything good I think one of them I took two two or three wickets in like the other ones I was just very very bad and um, yeah, I think one of them I made like negative five or six or something. So that's a really... Good one. Or maybe I was like, I got out three or four times like batting. I reckon I just maybe got out in a hat trick. I can't remember. Anyway, I like whenever people ask me like if I was any good at cricket and I'm like, I could bowl okay, but my wrist is kind of screwed now so I can't bowl spin as much anymore. And I can't really, uh, I was like always like a Glenn McGrath, like absolutely useless at batting. That was a much better over though. Only four came from it. And we're back into the attack. No, this is a bad field. This is a bad field. This is a bad field. That is a bad delivery. And that is uh, lucky to get away with just one there. Come on. But... This is not a bad total so far. It's only 67 from the nine overs. I just want to chuck in this field maybe and see what we can do with it because if I can just keep bowling it super leg sided, provided he doesn't get it behind square, which is my biggest concern, I should only be able to keep them to singles, um, which should be the priority right now rather than taking wickets because I don't think my wicket taking capabilities are that good. If I had that fielder back there, I, I would have got him out. And I've literally had that fielder there the last, like, three balls. That way, if he wants to take it on, he can do so. But also, you know, we protect the boundary. And we, are, you know, still give ourselves a chance of grabbing a wicket. 
if they do decide to take it on and stuff it up. Go on, have a ping. You see, they're playing too safe now. They might even get two here. No, they won't. Good, good. I'm also very worried about how I'm going to go batting in this game. I reckon I could very much get out first ball. It could be really bad. Ooh. So if you see that this video length is less than 10 minutes, I probably made zero runs. I know sometimes that's people. That's an indication of how people like uh, look at the videos. Right there. So this is my fourth and final over here. They are currently 2 for 76. If we can snag one of these guys' wickets, preferably Pope, um, that would be, you know, as good as can be for us. Because it would just put us in that position oh, where, you know, we can really press this target down from something that may be a 1, 150, 160 to a 120-ish a type total, or even, you know, a 130 would be ideal. Because those types of chases are, are much easier than, you know, the 240s. Ooh, just whipped away behind, square on the leg side. Fielder's going to pick it up and keep it to just two. So again, it's been a good over. Just four so far with one ball to come. Now, we've got to close it out as uh, Pope here brings up his 50. And we'd love to just get him out on this final delivery of my spell. And it could very well do so. Catch is taken. Pope is out. And the team gets very, very excited about that one. I'm so glad. You know, it's good to always get a wicket, whether it's off your first ball or your last ball, but it just makes you feel more confident about the performance. And it really was the key wicket in this instance. Literally just bring up his 50 and sort of scooped that one off the outside of the bat. And it's uh, ended up getting him out. There's a nice innings too. Look at that. A couple of sixes, a few boundaries in there. My bowlers can work out who goes next as Jonathan Fu comes in. And uh, we'll see what kind of total we're going to be chasing here. And hopefully it's not too bad. It's not too bad. 165. Gee, did they end up making that much? Gee, their last few, few guys must have done alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off the mark straight away with a two. This could even go to the rope. We can pick up a third here, mate. Oh, jeez, I'm running the wrong end. Dive! <laughs> Would have been classic me if I was to get out first ball. No run! Although it could, could get bad very quick. No run again. Yeah, no! Oh. It's just the pressure. And I'm surprised that I actually hit a back foot shot then. Because I'm not good at that at all. Yep, go. There we go. He's off the mark. We might go for two. No, we'll just settle for one because I don't want to risk too much. But the monkey's off the back. I'm going to raise the bat, everyone, because I have officially made one run upon my return. But one of five, I'm sure that the comments are already coming in. Why didn't you hit a boundary yet? Oh, goodness me. That's probably why. Yes. Get there. Yes. Nice. I thought I had the timing back in the first over, and then again, I've seemed to have messed it up completely. But hopefully my muscle memory will allow me to uh, remind myself of when to time the ball and when to not time the ball. That was a good shot. But there was a fielder there. Yep. No! Jesus! I, I had smashed that ball. But straight to the fielder. There's, there's going to be breaking point for me very soon, I feel. In terms of when do I decide to just take on the field. The confidence level is supposedly at max right now. Oh... Two from 12, guys. This is getting out of hand. And I take them on! And hit a boundary. Look, it's it's final. Like, this, this ball, I could clearly see, was going into that hitting zone. I was confident. Anyway, that was, a, that was a decent over in the end. 11 came from it. So, I've just got to make sure 
that, oh god, Lin is gone, which means, Dino, responsibility on you. We're currently going smack bang on the required run rate. That's going to be something we're going to have to, you know, sort out. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Bottom edge. Oh dear. <laughs> I love how it cuts to the umpire halfway through the celebration. I'm 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 pretty confident I hit it though. Like I'm I'm very confident that I hit this ball. So I don't know why I'm reviewing. It just seems stupid. But maybe it hit something other than the bat. You can't see anything really on the on the. Oh yeah, you can. I was like, you can't see it on the snooker. Surely it hit my arm or something though. Can I just? argue that one there's nothing on the bat there is nothing on the bat jeez it's very close ah. mate there was no hot spot on the bat I made six runs guys so I'm looking at this replay now trying to work out where I hit the ball right because there was no hot spot and on that replay, we do not hit the ball. Have a look at that. But the bat clearly has a gap between the ball and the bat. Oh dear. Then what was the snicko from? Does it deviate though? It seemingly deviates through the air, but I didn't actually hit it. It just looked like I did. Man, that's disappointing. When you, you miss it, but you actually hit it in the game's ideas. Devastation. Uh, we need six to win from the last two overs. And that should just about do it. <laughs> in one hit, they've gone and done it. For whatever reason. But that's, that's a good win. I like that result. I'm happy with the W. The Aguyana Amazon Warriors have won the game. And I made a solid six on my return, as well as taking a wicket. Look at that, one for 28. Not bad, not bad. They were four for 164, we five for 165. Baba Razam, 65 not out, and I, I believe he hit the winning runs at the end there. But a solid return, nonetheless. Sorry, I should really not use that big head mode. It's ridiculous. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope you did enjoy today's video, the return of the career mode. It uh, should be coming out on Saturdays from now on. Uh, we have more T20 stuff to look forward to, and I know you guys are probably going to bang on about this. When is the selection status coming in? We're still a long way off any sort of uh, Australian selection for the uh the t20s but we're we're sort of you know we're pretty close in a lot of the other comps so if we can just push our way maybe into the t20 side and maybe we can do a david warner and get into the the test matches or well, sandpaper the ball <laughs> maybe we can uh go from t20s as a uh australian player into a uh, test match australian player so that's going to be our challenge from now till the end of the year. Thank you for watching. Also, uh, Big Bash Boom. I'll probably be playing a bit of that when it comes out. I don't really know what it's going to be like. It's probably going to be like an NBA Jam style uh, of cricket game. So power-ups and things like that um, in sort of the 2020 format. But I'll probably check it out. Um, so let me know in the comments if you're excited about the return of this. If you want to see... You know, what you want to see, uh, if you're excited about Big Bash, boom, all the things. But make sure you hit the notification bell, because otherwise you'll miss stuff. It's just, it's bizarre. But I'll uh, see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.